Hi everyone, this video will be part of my how to series and today we'll be looking at how to buy cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum using websites like Luno, Coinbase and Local Bitcoin. Stay tuned. Okay, so all the websites listed will use a method whereby you transfer money from your bank account into their account and in that way buy Bitcoin. I'll go into more detail with that a bit later on. So the first one that I will be looking at is Luno. If you stay in one of these countries listed, then you will be able to use this website. I'll also put this link in the description so that you can take a look at that and also look at their fees that they have for their account. Now I already have an account so yours will not look like mine but if you follow the link in the description you'll be able to sign up and then create an account on Luno. You will have to go to buy once you're in buy you'll have to verify your account once your account is verified it will look more like mine now what you need to do is go to more and once you're there you can deposit money you can see here that they have a very clear step-by-step -step tutorial of how to do this you would just select the bank that you use you would sign into your bank and add Luno as a recipient uh, with the details given which, which will be shown now and then you will just use the reference that they give you. So for instance you can use NetBank, you can say that you want to transfer a hundred rands, then once you're on your bank account you can uh, set FMB as the bank name, the account number uh, is given over there and then you would use this reference to make your deposit. Once you've made your deposit from your account you would then say I have made deposit and it will then process. This does take a few days since it is banks and not cryptocurrency. In the world of cryptocurrency transactions are much quicker. Alright, so once that is in, you can then go to your wallet or you can go to uh, even just on the home page and you can buy. Now, you will have your currency, in my case RAND, and I can then buy Ethereum with RAND. I would then, I deposited 100 RAND, so I would say the deposit, I would like to buy 100 RAND and then in that way you can buy Ethereum. You can do the same for Bitcoin and if you'd like to send this Bitcoin or Ethereum to another account I'll be covering that in a different video. You can also take a look at the exchange. This is also a nice feature of Luno where you can get uh, acquainted with trading and exchanging uh, Bitcoin. You can then set the amount of Bitcoin that you'd like to buy. You could set your price and it you'll see that there are no fees. If you do, however, buy it at a seller's price, there is a fee. So just be careful for that. Right. So the next website we'll be looking at is Coinbase. Now Coinbase you will be able to use it if you stay in one of these countries listed. Again, I will put a link in the description. If you want to use Coinbase, you can follow the link in the description and you and I both will get $10. Once you've signed up and verified your account, it will look like this. This is in Rand, so don't get a fright if you're used to seeing the price of Bitcoin in dollars. It also gives a nice representation of what has gone on with the price in the last month, your portfolio, your wallet, etc. Once your account is has been set up, you can then buy Bitcoin. There, there's many ways to do this. You can go to buy, sell, accounts, and in that way hit buy Bitcoin. Now mine does not show as I said because I'm from South Africa 
but it is very similar to the, the method I explained using Luno. Here is a screenshot of what it will look like when you buy. You can select the type of uh, currency that you'd like to buy. Your bank details will be uploaded over here and you can then uh, put in here the amount that you'd like to buy. Also take note of the fees and this also takes some time as does any other transaction. The next website I'll be using is Local Bitcoin. Now this is available to all countries. Mine is in rands. You can also change that to dollar if you would like. Um, over here we've got the seller. So in this website you buy and sell directly to other users and you do not use an exchange. Now this person for instance has done over 3000 transactions and they have a rate of 100%. So if you go to one of these users it will look like this. This will show that they have been trusted and they have so many verifications. This is how long they've been using local Bitcoin etc. Um, and this also gives you a sense of security that you won't be selling and buying Bitcoin from some random scammer. Now once you've done that, uh, once you've verified that you want to use that user, you can then just take a look here which bank you use. So for instance, uh, if you use FMB, you can use that uh, this user. Maybe if you use NetBank, you can use this user. Then you go to buy. It will look like this. Over here you'll see the minimum requirements and a bit of details of the terms of trading with this user. You would enter the amount of Bitcoin you want to buy and then send the request. Once the request is approved you would go into your bank account, do an EFT to the user's bank account. Once the proof of payment has been received the user will then send Bitcoin into your wallet and if you look at the top here wallet you will receive the amount over there. Right I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see any specific videos or for me to cover any specific content please let me know in the comments down below. Also remember to check the description and hit subscribe. Thanks everyone. I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.